Hi there. Now in this tutorial what I want to show you is how we do algebraic long division when terms in our polynomial are missing. And in this example you'll notice that I've got the x squared term missing. So I'll show you how to do this example. Divide x cubed plus 5x minus 6 by x minus 1 and then you might like to try this one here. And I've added an extra little bit at the bottom here, which hopefully will be useful as well. But we'll start with this one. We've got to divide x cubed plus 5x minus 6 then by x minus 1. So we'll do our division. We'll put x minus 1 on the outside. Now, this is where it changes. We start with the x cubed and we're missing the x squared term. So we fill this in with 0, 0x zero squared. If there was an x term missing, we would fill it in with plus 0x and so on. But we've got our x term here, so that's plus 5x. And again, if there wasn't a constant here, I'd just put plus 0. So with this one, we just put the minus 6 in. Now at this point, you might want to just pause the video and carry on with this particular division. So I'll just give you a moment to do that if you'd like to see it through. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So we'll run through this very quickly. What do we have to multiply the x by then to get x cubed? Well, it's going to be x squared. So we now multiply x squared with x and we put that as x cubed and x squared times minus 1 is minus x squared. And we subtract to find out what the remainder would be. x cubed minus x cubed, well that's 0. Now we've got no x squared minus minus an x squared, so that's going to be plus x squared. We bring down the next term, which in this case is 5x, so we put that on the end there, plus 5x. And what do we multiply? x by to get x squared. Well, it's going to be plus x. x times x minus 1 will give us x squared minus x. Subtract again to find out what the remainder is. x squared minus x squared is 0. 5x minus minus x is going to be 6x. Bring down the next term, the last term in this example, minus 6. And again, what do we need to multiply x by to get the 6x? Well, it's going to be plus 6. So we do 6 times x minus 1, which gives us 6x minus 6. And when it comes to subtracting here, what we get is 0. So we have no remainder. So we could see that x minus 1 is a factor of x cubed plus 5x minus 6 because it leaves us with no remainder. OK, well, I've got this example here that you might like to try. Divide x to the power 4 minus 3x squared by x plus 2. And is x plus 2 a factor of x to the power 4 minus 3x squared? So I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go at this one. So again, what I'd want to do is we'll put the x plus 2 out the front of our division. And for this one, we're starting with x to the power 4. We have no x cubed term, so it'd be plus 0x cubed. We have an x squared term, though, minus 3x squared. We have no x term, and we have no constant on the end. So that's how we would set this up. So in the usual way, what do we multiply now? x by to give x to the 4, that's going to be x cubed. x cubed times x plus 2 is going to give us x to the power 4 plus 2x cubed. Subtract to find out what the remainder is. And we have x to the 4 minus x to the 4 is 0. No x cubed minus plus 2x cubed is now going to be minus 2x cubed. Bring down the next term, which is going to be minus 3x squared. 
So what do we need to multiply x by? To give minus 2x cubed, well, it's got to be minus 2x squared. So minus 2x squared times x plus 2 gives us minus 2x cubed and minus 4x squared. Again, subtract to find out what the remainder is. We get 0 here. And then we've got minus 3x squared minus minus 4x squared, which is going to be x squared. Bring down the next term, which is no x's. So we just write plus 0x there. And then what do you multiply x by to get x squared? Well, it's going to be x. So now we do x times x plus 2. That's x squared plus 2x. Subtract again to get that remainder. The x squared terms go out. And we've got 0x minus plus 2x, which is minus 2x. Bring our last term down now, which is going to be plus 0. And so what do you multiply? x by to get minus 2x, well it's minus 2. So minus 2 times x plus 2 is going to be minus 2x minus 4. Again, subtract now to find out what that remainder is. And the x terms cancel. And you've got 0 minus minus 4, which is going to be plus 4. So what we've got then is that, note the remainder, okay, is equal to 4. So therefore, what we see is that therefore x plus 2 is not a factor. Okay, it would only be a factor then if that remainder were 0. Later on I'll be showing you a quicker way, by the way, of determining whether something is a factor of a particular polynomial, rather than carrying out this long algebraic division method. It's called the remainder theorem, so you might like to check that one out.